Whether you're a family of cyclists or scooters, maybe you just want to try out your unconventional bike, or you just want to paddle down the street on a skateboard, or you just like to parade in a fancy costume, Open Streets Los Angeles has something to offer literally everyone. People need to get out and exercise and move and, you know, America's the worst case of heart problems and diabetes and we need to be active. It is such a great opportunity to see parts of Los Angeles that I might not have the opportunity to see. Instead of maybe zipping through on the freeway, I have a chance to go look at the stores and look at the, the murals and the artwork. And that was a primary goal for Ciclavia in organizing this event. Its director, Romal Pascual, says he hopes to promote interaction between otherwise isolated communities. Here we are at Ciclavia, six miles of streets, connecting about 10 communities in 40 minutes. You know, we don't have those imaginary walls that we normally have when we're in a car. But Open Streets also becomes a platform for a variety of groups and activists pushing for a clean and sustainable environment. For most people, it's just a lovely Sunday to spend outside, but for the advocates of the Open Streets event, this is a way of raising awareness about how different city life would be if we had more open streets like this one. Los Angeles is typically known for its ambitious programs fighting climate change, but environmentalists say it still falls short of meeting carbon emission targets, particularly in the transportation sector. We're trying to get reach net zero carbon, um, and so part of that is, is solving what cars run on, but part of it is also getting people to drive less. And streets like events like this are a beginning step for people seeing what it's like to drive less. For America's second largest city where most people rely on cars, open streets is not an easy concept to embrace. But people still manage to get to where they're going without leaving carbon footprints. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.